Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to draw a person sitting on a bench. And we're going to show this from a particular side. So there's some perspective, some angle, some perspective involved here, and which is not like uh, a whole lot, but we do have that particular aspect going. So there is the side of the bench and then the bench goes backward perspective wise ends up somewhere there. Person is sitting on this bench and is hunched over. Yes. Uh, but let's get that up there. Uh, so we are going to show this from a cross-legged perspective. So that is the essential curve that we are going to focus on. We're going to have the shoulder set here. Head is going to go here. And collar structure here. Chest. Lower torso. So like a real curvature going till this point. And we might like change certain aspects as we're going, but certain things we're going to keep in place. And that is what we're exploring here is the crossed legs on a bench as seen from the side. So one, two, one, two, one, two. So this leg coming inward foot and foot. Now that already gives the sense of cross leg right there but we're going to make this one better. Shoulder sets, shoulder set here and we're going to explore a few different options with this. So what we can do here first is then this can actually remain stable through the exercise. which is this. So shin and calf. The foot. And of course, coming over this, right here, coming over it in the sense that, well, this leg is over this one, but the knee is coming over the shin here. Slightly, in some cases slightly, it'll depend on the bulk of the of the individual as well, of how much uh, volume, uh, sorry, how much weight a person packs, how much bulk, and that will really determine of how much a particular aspect of the uh, anatomy gets covered by which, but usually we end up like seeing this. So let's have the head hunching a little down like this. That is the angle. So eyes, nose, mouth right there. So there's the chest area as I mentioned and of course the curving back and the torso going in. The shoulder are here. And what we can do is with the shoulders, let's see. It's very common to see something like this. As soon as we grab ourselves another color of pen, it'll be easier to illustrate. So if you could please bear with me for a second while I grab a purple pen. So one, two, three. And there's the hand resting on. And again, this thigh is, of course, 
over this forearm. So a lot of things going over and under here. So in spite of this arm being over this thigh, this aspect of the thigh is engulfing the bottom of the forearm right there. And the other arm, in this case, we can have some perspective going. Either place that hand over this, and just show a portion of the fingers, or just have that hand down there somewhere. It's quite common to like see something like this, but also it's very common in this particular pose to see cross arms while sitting down. So arm, sorry, hand going over that arm and this it'll be the arm right there and this hand of course vanishing into this arm with the elbow showing like that. You can also do a cross-armed pose here or you can also have the shoulder spread out. We have also explored this in a in a, in a, in a different video. This particular uh, posture that we're talking about right here like this one uh, where hand is uh, stretched out and it's just like you know hanging loose right there into the shoulder and this hand can even come here so this is a very very but this is a personal favorite of mine so of course the hand and the anatomy has to match and I mean that is well it is part of our exercise but not essentially the exercise today so those are some different options so what we're going to do is just have a marker go over any one of these so I think that I personally like this one and I am going to highlight it as such as a personal choice in what can be an expressive uh, pose. Uh, I'll try to grab a thicker, thicker marker here and see if we can do a little more just to this thing it seems that it's still getting lost in all those colored lines that we threw down and we hope that it was easy to follow we try to do this in real time so that a sense of the possibilities can be had of how quickly one can go around these different options. So there we are, we are just, uh, this is the easy and fun part, putting in and there we have our choice and of course, now we can also have the person looking like straight up. Person could be looking straight up and you know, it would still work. He can be drooping down a little bit. And again, it all depends on the perspective that you wish to tap into. But this is by far a quite an expressive pose when it comes to a person sitting on the bench and view from the side. So please do Google Pictures too, but uh, we have other videos that 
feature uh, poses like these so please do check them out as well we put out content every day so please subscribe keep in touch and have yourself a wonderful day